Hello, everybody. My name is Gio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live to, from the top four of the Korriban Galactic Qualifier, our fourth of five qualifiers leading up to the Battle of Exegol, our grand championship here at the end of the season. Today, I'm joined by my good friends, William Haywood. Hello there. And James Ritter. Hey, guys. We got Charles Forrester Latour versus Nathaniel Blair First Order versus Scum and Villainy. This scenario, the round, this round is chance engagement. Chance engagement is a dogfight to the death. Players need to be within range two of the center, starting with within range two, in order to get one point each. If only one player is within range two of that center, then that player receives two points, and the other player receives sadness zero points and maybe just a little bit of shame will's gonna break much, down much these <laughs> will's gonna go ahead and break down these um these lists while everybody at home it is time for you to choose your champion okay let's start with the player here on our left you bet one all champion that's charles force latour he is flying a first order list led by three different uh whispers uh that is kylo ren here at the top of your screen in green uh, he is utilizing uh malice instinctive aim predator concussion missiles and advanced optics and of well uh, and of course the enhanced jamming suite the configuration for the whisper here kylo ren does have a pilot ability that if a, an enemy in his bullseye has ever dealt a face down damage card he can spend one of his force charges to flip that card face up instead uh, that combined with uh, Malice for some eyeball to crit generation uh, makes this guy an offensive powerhouse. Again, one of my favorite styles of ship. Take a very defensive pilot on a maneuverable chassis and just put every single offensive upgrade you can onto it. So we should expect here some instinctive aim concussion missiles out the front or back, modified um, by the focus and advanced optics. Uh, quite the uh, late game power piece here. Uh, the other whispers, though, they're built out the exact same. Uh, that's Nightfall and a 709th Legion. Nightfall, if they ever pass through an enemy ship, either by a maneuver or by a boost action, uh, the ship you move through would gain two jam tokens. Now, you do see them cloaked out there. That's from the Sensor Scramblers upgrade. They're allowed a cloak token up until uh, an, an in phase where they are range zero to three of an enemy. At that point, they must decloak or lose their cloak token. These guys are utilizing Fanatical to give them an, an offensive uh, boost once they lose shields. And then Proton Rockets, a five dice bullseye only attack. That requires a focus, which is perfect for a uh, combination with Enhanced Jamming Suite uh, because it has a focus link to jam action. And the jam action is allowed to be range two in your bullseye, the exact range of those proton rockets. So you can come in, you can jam somebody and focus, and then shoot a proton rocket at that jammed ship. Very, very good for a, some spike damage now the other two ships here uh, are fo fighters that's commander malaris uh, who has a uh, we call it glitter stem around here a little bit of an old school term but essentially once you spend uh, a charge of hers she's got two of them you can gain a stress at the start of the engagement phase and you essentially have unlimited force for the rest of the round, can convert all eyeball results to evades or hits. Combines perfectly with cluster missiles as they allow her a second bonus attack at range 1 to 2. 
And then uh, Scorch, you know, one of those pilots I said, a defensive chassis with all the offensive upgrades slapped onto it. Scorch rolls an extra attack dice for a stress, has that same fanatical uh, where you can give her an eyeball result if you got no shields, Predator for a reroll in your bullseye, and Advanced Optics to spend a focus to convert a blank result to a hit. Uh, that's, uh, man, I've actually fallen in love with Scorch. I used to not like Scorch, Dion. Uh, but man, after a couple games of uh, he, he watching slaps, Scorch man. roll eyeball blank blank and convert it into three hits, is man, uh, just made me fall in love with that shit. Mm -hmm. uh, for three points, you get quite a heavy hitting three dice attack ship. Uh, but let's take a look at the other side here. Nathan Blair, we've seen on stream a couple times this tournament. Is utilizing a two ace and tank style list. Uh, that tank is Q9 in the Razor Crest, able to take a calculate to barrel action after fully executing an advanced maneuver. Normally we see it stopping, but could mm -hmm. 5k or two talent roll to activate that ability as well? Has Mandalorian and the Child for some uh, ability to reinforce and have two force points for offense or defense there. Uh, the great combination there of the Mandalorian allows the child to regain force even if they didn't uh, take damage then. Normally those force charges don't recover, but the Mandalorian allows a way, calms the child, if you will, uh, and gets more force points out of them. Uh, we have Greedo in the gunner slot for some crit generation, contraband cybernetics, because uh, you're doing all those advanced maneuvers. A hidden card, we assume false transponder codes. Uh, yeah, prob is underneath probably. Underneath of the Razor Crest. And then uh, Electronic Baffle, which you've seen them use quite a few times to you know, stop, you pop for contraband cybernetics, you get your free calculate. You take a target lock uh, for the uh, uh, false transponder codes, and then you can remove that stress with electronic baffle to do it all over again the following round. Now, the other two ships here, uh, James's favorite, the fire spray. Uh, mm. The first is Kashka Frost in yellow. Has the ability to reroll dice against stressed ships. Notorious, if you shoot at Kashka and you're in her arc, she's going to give you a strain. She can even use that strain as a reroll. Uh, has Ahsoka Tano as a force crew. Deadman switch to allow that Notorious Marauder for rear arc rerolls. And the gunner slot, which is filled with veteran tail gunner. Every time you take a front arc attack, you can also take a rear arc attack. Uh, rounding out the list, we got Iman Azamin, the other red fire spray in red, has the Force Crew Maul, and uh, Iman can drop the seismic or concussion bombs with not just the one forward, uh, but the hard three and three straight templates as well. And then, of course, Rakan, his actual title, the Andrasta, which gives him the reload action and the bomb slot. Those concussion bombs, I love the synergy here mm -hmm. uh, because they deal a face down damage card, and unless you take a strain, you have to uh, you have to flip that card face up. That strain could be used for notorious or to help Q9 punch some extra damage through onto those ships. And we see Iman here prepping those hard three bomb drops, uh, maybe able to clear out some. Uh, what do I say? Some lanes here with those mm -hmm. seismics. But it seems like the the First Order is hugging the neutral edge here for the time being. Uh, I mean, how how long, Dion, do you think these fire sprays can run? Where, where do you think that the best attack angle is to face off against these whispers? I mean, the... The biggest tool that uh, that of course Iman has right You're is those muted, bomb. Yeah. No, I'm not. Oh, I was muted to you guys, but not the world. That's a new one. Um, Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't hear what you oh, said. You didn't then. hear you any. Me. of You telling tell me you didn't hear any of my? 
<laughs> my reactions no, are, are things that I was talking no, about. No, that's why, that's why I did not uh, respond. Uh, <laughs> All right, anyway. Purposely ignoring. Anyway. Um, <laughs> The uh, the tools, of course, that Iman loves using is those bombs. Uh, but, I mean, Charles getting to this point, right, getting to the top four, he's not just going to start chasing Iman around. Uh, Nathaniel would love that, you know, just handing out some is, uh, concussion bombs. Is that bomb. not what you do? You, you don't chase Iman? No, 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 no. Now, of course, Iman has, has some agency in that. Um, what I what I think he should do though is I'd like him to, to I would like to see him use the um, the the seismic charges that he has to possibly clear um, not the center gas cloud but that top left debris cloud would honestly give him a lot of room to maneuver. If he'd like, I like where everything else is, but I think that top left, um, that top left debris could end up giving him issues for getting turned around, getting back into the fight. Um, but I mean, right, right now, I, I'm not, I'm not surprised that they're both being kind of uh, cagey. I know we like to use that word, cagey. All right, they're being a little little afraid right now. Let's take a second. <laughs> it's a it's the polite way of saying they're afraid. <laughs> Taking a look at the our folks who are playing Choose Your Champion. By the way, bets are open for thirty more seconds. Thirty more seconds. Uh, no lies. It's closed. It's, don't don't even try. You know what? I actually I'll open it for for you. How about that? I'll leave it open for you for for one more minute if you want to get that bet in. All right, but right now it's a 45-55 um, wager. Bets are now closed. Um, leaning a little bit towards Blair. Leaning a little bit towards Blair. I don't know if that's the familiarity of his list now that we've seen it in action. Um, I think it was versus uh, Octacon there with those greater numbers. But uh, but in, in that matchup, it wasn't... Um, there was a little bit of, of dice swinginess that definitely helped Blair out. But uh, I honestly, I wasn't in love on how Iman got uh, got utilized, like all of his tools. Uh, and I, I think that will be the difference here and whether or not Nathaniel is able to win is how, do he, how, how does he utilize the bomb. So at this point, we're going to have Nightfall run in, take a target lock, and looks like that's the plan of uh of the first order see what tokens you can kind of bank for later 709th legion ace one of the few generics in use nowadays because that price that price is good at four I think, points i think the only other non-limited ship we see often is the separatist uh vulture mm -hmm. though uh, to be honest with you, the Separatist Vulture is basically limited to three copies because you can only equip Discord missiles to them, and Discord missiles only come in, uh, uh, in three. True. So maybe <laughs> not exactly non-limited as they're, like I said, limited to only three. Uh, but we've seen uh, a whole list. We've seen five 709s. Uh, well, maybe four in Nightfall. Nightfall mm -hmm. is basically a professional 709. <laughs> they I'm basically a pro. have the same build, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm a pro 709th. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a 709th. He's flown a, flown a couple missions. Got a, got a code name. First one out of the pleb squad. Yeah, yeah. I really like Nightfall. Those double jams... Uh, can be so effective. Plus, you have the turret, right? So you, mm -hmm. uh, because you cannot rotate and jam, you could just fly through somebody and then focus rotate to still shoot them. Now, as a reminder, because it always happens, always happens, Will, there's usually one person in the audience who asks, wait a second, can Nightfall fire that proton rocket out of its back arc? And the answer is no. You cannot. No, no, no. Let's... Uh, let's read it word for word here. It says, heavy weapon turret. You can rotate your turret indicator only to your front and back. 
you must treat the front arc requirement of your equipped missile upgrades as turret. Uh, so because the proton markers are bullseye, mm -hmm. uh, that ability essentially doesn't apply. That's it right. would apply for Kylo Ren's concussion missiles. Oh, yeah, you can it does. most certainly shoot those out his rear arc, uh, do his best fire spray impression uh, by shooting three dice behind him. Mm -hmm. uh, which, yeah, I, man, uh, the whispers... We we doubted them at first, but I think they've they've come into the realm in uh, the loadout format. It took us a while to go. Wait, it's not a silencer. <laughs> I think yeah, I think that's what it came people, down to. People wanted them to be Adas or uh, Aether sprites, right? They wanted they wanted it to be an interceptor, right? A right. reposition knife fighter. It but is it's not. not. It, it comes in for like one good pass. Shoots maybe a bullseye attack, and then it keeps going and uh, rotates out. Um, flies a lot like the SF or a, or a fire maybe. spray or a fire spray exactly. One good pass, turn around, utilize that rear arc for as long as you can, and when that fails, come back in for another knife fight or another pass rather. Uh, Ramon on the table here. There we go. All so right. first up is Malaris, who declined to use her ability this round. Here, save it for those cluster missiles. Just one hit and safe. Next shot yeah, coming up. Like Q9 utilized the Razor Crest evade into barrel roll. Ooh, just a focus there. Is he going to modify anything else? Probably not worth it at this point. Leaves it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could spend what the child force there. But because they did defend, the Mandalorian can't get that force charge back for the child. A lot of hand activity up here. Mm hmm. Talk about baffle. Oh, Ooh. good baffle. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, we saw him utilize that evade linked barrel roll and uh, is tempted to baffle here. Can you go ahead th okay. and throw that card on the screen so that we can uh, show the people the conditions for meeting it? So it says, during the end phase, you may suffer one damage to remove one red token. So you're trading that, uh, that stress for a damage and more maneuverability. Which is the reason why you would baffle that off in the first place. Because those, uh, those Razor Crests, they need their actions. They're action hungry. And uh, if you're stressed, you yeah. can't. Yeah, it's interesting the different avenues people have been taking. Now that you can't do uh, Jabba and Contraband Cybernetics to so basically just ignore the stress mechanic for mm -hmm. six rounds of the game. Uh, people have gotten creative about uh dealing with the stress some people have gone like babu frick and then a hidden contraband cybernetics so you get like three turns of ignoring stress uh, but i i kind of like this electronic baffle because q9 is so tanky or it gives off that vibe of very tankiness right it's like i gotta calculate i got Force points. You got reinforce. Yeah. Uh, people just like don't want to shoot at them. Mm -hmm. So you end up with health uh, that you're essentially not using as a resource. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the electronic baffle just kind of slots right in there. I know. I know. For for most ships, though, like if you have lower ship count, uh, sorry, health count, the using baffle is scary because anybody anybody with a mod slot can use it, right? It's mm -hmm. oh, yeah. you just have to be willing. Willing to take the risk. And I think, imagine with me, a world where as many people as possible are equipping um, electronic baffle, right? Or, or, or it's a more mm -hmm. sought okay. after aggressive card. Like, you have, you're going to have, you would have people, you know, taking damage to be able to K turn in spots where they normally wouldn't be able to. Uh, you know, being able to perform red actions or, or, or linked actions when they wouldn't have normally 
been able to that turn, like, yeah, it can be a very aggressive card. You just have to make sure that what you sacrifice to use it gets you more than that. Otherwise, then it's not worth it. Sure, sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, I could see it. I'm like, uh, I'm thinking like things that have terrible dials mm -hmm. uh, for stress. I'm talking lambdas, B wings, torrents, right? Mm -hmm. uh, where they're they might be doing more rev moves than anything else. Uh, that could be advantageous to, um, uh, what do I want to say? Uh, make, improve your dial right. more so than, uh, your health. But here, here's another, here's another thing is that out of the four scenarios, chance engagement is the one where I think, um, it, electronic oh. baffle has the worst value. Because you're creeping they have points. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I definitely can see that because Q nines now have to that baffle only an eight health ship uh, for quick damage on it can score you uh, three points. Did we just see a uh, dial mistake there, James? Uh, yeah, I forgot to put in a dial for Malaris, so we'll be doing a two white straight this round. Uh, well, luckily, Malaris wasn't stressed from the turn before. That would have been brutal. Yeah, it's, I mean, it looks, looks like she's... Probably would have do done something that. similar yeah. anyways. Yeah. That sounds. That just sounds like efficiency to me. Efficiency to me, boys. <laughs> I don't gotta set the style. I was gonna go too straight anyway. Uh, sitting in two procket arcs there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe you. Uh... Yeah. Reinforce. <laughs> I mean, you could just boost it, avoid one procket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you don't have any kind of mods. Is that your, fo your force? I don't know if you boost to the right. If you... You'd still get a shot, but I don't know if goes you... To oh, the boost and left. Goes to okay. the left. Still in two arcs. Still going to get procketed, but uh, that's only from yellow. Red will just have a range one attack. Mm -hmm. But also, you've and, activated... Uh, uh, activated the... Likely some concussion or uh, or seismic charges next turn. Yeah, yeah, I, I have to imagine a bomb coming down from Iman from that position. Uh, Malaris is moving before Scorch for some reason. Oh, no, Scorch already moved. I see the focus mm -hmm. down there. Uh, t tempting call here to take the lock. Uh, I mean, did we Q see false transponder yeah, codes Q revealed? We Q9 did. False. So, like, I think the barrel roll is better here just to get another arc of Koshka because I like it. Not gonna have a um shot. Yeah, yeah, because Q nine is gonna stop what it, what we've seen many times before here. Stop contraband, <clears throat> target lock, calculate. Mm -hmm. Could see a just... barrel roll jam here. What are you jamming? I mean, you, I guess you I guess he's got a lock. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe you just take him down to nothing. You have to break them before they can join you on the dark side. Oh, Nightfall picked up a lock as well. Uh, that must have been the previous round lock. before uh, Iman. I don't think, I don't think that's true. Turned. You don't think that's true? Oh, you 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 know what? You're right. It did. Yeah, he had road last round. Or he's had uh, road all the rounds. Yeah. Here we go. We saw that Procket get uh, the, the, the delivery confirmation has been sent. Well, Kyle, but, Kyle has the concussions, so but he'll probably just do a primary here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's got Predator um, yeah. and, you, and it's range two. You don't that's have to spend the, the force. That's the sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah, and we could see some Kylo pilot abilities triggered then too. If that Procket can eat into some damage cards, 
Uh, Kylo can turn them all into crits. All right. We just saw Malrith activate her ability. Did end up receiving a jam from target locking Q9. Or from Q9 uh, target locking her. So let's see how likely this primary shot ends up doing. Yeah, attempted to shoot at uh, Q9 to pass the Greedo through. But I don't think that's going to happen with uh, the child force there. Uh, but Kasha is going to get a reroll and has a force point of her own. Just hoping for all paint you, here. Yeah, you, at least you get three dice here. With a, mm -hmm. a range one. And not going to get any damage out of that. Okay. Uh, primary, range two. First order on parade. Spends a force Ooh, for malice. malice. Hit, hit, crit. Able to spend a force there on the other side, but that's still going to be a shield. Using so, Maul there to get a force back. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen uh, the, the Maul trigger yet. Uh, she suffered damage. She may gain one stress token to recover one force. Here's the range one shot, or range two shot. Just one hit going into Malaris. Remember, Malaris will have an ability. We'll go ahead and change that. When everything's said and done, has hit, hit, crit. Malaris ability will change the focus to a hit, so only a single damage there. Oh, no. Now I have Fanatical. Fanatical I mean, is Not active. too bad to be facing down 15 points as a three-point ship. Yeah. Uh -huh. just, just lose the shield. All right, Scorch does end up taking the third die. Focus crit. The the worst uh, result to see here for Scorch is uh, the blank focus. Yeah, without Predator, you can only get get two. And uh, we see another Maul trigger here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's going to be out of force then for the follow-up whisper attacks oh wait he he dodged it so how to get his force back mm. they're rereading the card one at a time <laughs> gotta suffer damage yeah so you either suffer the damage and keep the force point or you spend the force point and take no damage there's not really an option to maul here. <laughs> okay, so he's going to spend it. You don't want to double stress your fire spray anyways. Not mm -hmm. today. <laughs> All right, hit crit. Coming in from... Nightfall, Ooh. Natty's, Ooh. wow. All right, so he's, he's he had a chance to spend his lock, but he's probably going to save it for a pocket. Makes sense to me. Like this one, five dice with a focus, looking for paint, and you Ooh. got it. Five Ooh, hits. Paint. Read them and weep. Yeah, and if we remember, uh, we might have the... Yeah, we should. There it is. should he have does a Kylo spin the force. Trigger. Nice. Let's see that card face up. Direct, Direct it. Oh. Make, it face up. Make it face up. Make the next one face up. No, he doesn't. Oh, boo. <laughs> yeah, because he, he, he spent two keep forces going. rounds. Yeah. Oh, no. Keep going. This is your chance. I would have. I would have oh, all yeah, in on too. that. Full send. All right, so... And that's three points for uh, Charles there. Uh, 
And here is a range one Nothing for coming Eamon. in from Nightfall. Uh, for, yes, from Eamon and doesn't come up with anything wow, whatsoever. Man. All right, both teams have a ship range two from the center, so that'll be plus one to each side. No penalties handed out, but with uh, with some of that damage that was dealt to Eamon for that pocket plus the center, uh, we're at seven to two. Another baffle. He's got to be careful. This is chance engagement. Like he can baffle into giving a path points on that on that yep. six point ship. So I'm telling you, in scramble, assault, and salvage, like you can be a bit freer with uh with that um that electronic baffle because it does cause you to suffer a damage. But you know, we we gotta wait and see what the choices are here. I mean, I, I think it's still a good play. Like you, you're you're a little bit on the back foot here. Um. So you need to do some damage here mm -hmm. and get in good good positions. Uh, Eamon, what are you what are you dropping, buddy? Mm, I mean, are you anticipating? I think Nightfall. What, what's it? Are they both initiative four? Ooh. Yeah. Mm. So Road is going to be pretty interesting here. I probably would just end up dialing in the one to the left, like hard one or hard two. You could barrel roll after that. For Nightfall? Yeah. Uh, but that yeah. only solves Nightfall's problem. It doesn't really, <laughs> yeah. really help you with the other two. Well, uh, the 709th Legion Ace has um, emptied its payload. Um it's Procket here, so really, uh, this guy's just a uh, turd out there unless he can line up that bullseye on somebody. So, um, he probably doesn't mind doing, uh, like a fast maneuver and tur turning that arc around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, is, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. We saw the electronic baffle. What maneuver do you think Q9 is trying to do if it's not going to be like a forward maneuver? Can I see uh, the... Is it going to stop again? Let's look, take, a, um, take a peek at I mean, the could, could just be like a two bank into the center. Okay. Ooh, 5K. Like a... People Ooh. want to get behind... Mallers. Well, and Mallers may just be going towards the center of the board as well. True. I mean, it also depends on what Koshka is doing here. Like Koshka, uh, in previous games, uh, through we've in. we've seen Charles be very aggressive with Koshka. Like get it in the middle of the fight, mm. and uh, like it's it weirded me out because Eamon is uh, the one performing that role this fight. I was like, where's the notorious triggers? Where's all the where's all the goodness? And uh, it was uh, Eamon, not Koshka. I think that was Will. It's time to go to work, Will. <laughs> All right. So these players play their first four turns very fast. And now, as as has historically been the case, we've reached that fork in the road. This is when things start to stretch out because the decisions are becoming way more consequential. Every time you uh, you make them right, you're rewarded. When you uh, do an oopsie doopsie, you know things get things can get a little rough. But I believe. I'll be right back, gentlemen. I'm going to go grab my shoes so I can stand at my standing desk. I'll be right back. Okay. You know what that means, stream? It's party time. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, really, I do like, uh, as much as we complain about the fire sprays, I do like the uh, hit and run tactics Nathaniel has able to utilize with these fire sprays. Like, there's no reason why I don't foresee a three forward boost with Imam. Kashka uh, could hard turn in or could three bank boost and just take the lower lane and avoid Malaris. Wow, the one hard did not bump there. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, this should leave room for a one bank from Q9. Could just stop again, I guess. Just uh, do the do the hammer time crawl uh, back over to the other side of that debris at the top of the board. Man, I can't get that image out of my head. Every time Q9 does stop, it's hammer time. It just rolls. <laughs> does the little MC hammer shuffle to the side. Oh, man. So funny. Uh, what did we see for that bomb there, though? Joe's just a regular old concussion. Well, it's making these whispers reconsider their uh, choices. Because with how that 709th is positioned, uh, you cannot get away from that bomb. The barrel roll is only... Oh, counting your base, and then the template for the barrel roll is only, uh, yeah, obviously two of them, uh, which is half a base mm -hmm. less than a uh, range one. So, because he started his repositions closer to that bomb than half a base, that means that he will not be able to get out of range. Uh, essentially, of that, that reposition is just to make plans for the next turn. That's it. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yep, you give Kylo a little bit more space. and uh, Exactly. And, and that's like we... Iman. Iman just dip, like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I did. <laughs> I'm good. And, and that's why when... When you have a, a bomb that your that your opponent has put down and you're reacting to it, you got to make sure, like, can you realistically get away? And if you, because you don't want to overcommit either to to trying to get away and fail, and now you're maybe pointing in the wrong direction. You can't, uh, you know, read and react to your opponent that turn because you uh, maybe too aggressively tried to run away from the bomb. And uh, if you were unsuccessful and you gave up your positioning because of your reaction to that bomb, like that's like a, a double double serving of feels bad. Yeah, more so than like debuff, it's like uh, area denial, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, a, well, now with objectives, even more important. All right, well, Q9 looks like we did see up. a perfectly placed one bank. Ooh. We all knew it fit, even though it's, oh boy, it's pretty close. Uh... We'll call that a planned deployment we knew it <laughs> fit from the moment he set those ships on the, the table. But that's about as close as you could get. Yep. The spicy. That's like in person, you can't breathe while you move that template. <laughs> Because, of course, the, the courteous thing to do is, like, if you, like, bump the ship or anything like that while you're moving a, a close maneuver, you basically, I would say sportsmanship says that you tell your opponent, yes, I, 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 or I know I did not complete that maneuver. You take the worst end of the deal if you, if you mess it up while moving that ship. Yeah, exactly. When someone's doing something like that, I... Uh... I watch the ship. If it moves at all, it was a bump. Mm -hmm. If you had to move it out of your way to get that ship at the end of the template, call it a bump. I think we're going concussion missile here. Yep, this is the instinctive yeah. aim being used. Kylo only has a single force here. Oh, doesn't need any of those mods. Hit, crit, crit. Wow. So that should definitely hit, uh, because uh, range. I would have, I would have actually range? spent a force there to change the hit to a crit. Mm. Uh, range bonus? Question mark. That's a missile, right? 
Correct. Uh, roll too many. Yeah, no rage bonus. And, and I heard, I hear, I'm hear what you're saying, James. Because now, if those crits hit, Malice does not activate. Because you have to have actually used Malice in order for, for it to trigger. So this is something to, to watch here. Make sure That's that true. this is done correctly. Yeah, he did not convert that other hit to a crit to activate Malice. Uh, so they flipped over a card. For concussion. Did we see what it was? Yeah. So it was yeah. direct hit. Gave another card. Panic pilot and then, disabled. And then took three. That didn't matter. Uh, took, took the extra damage from the direct hit after the concussion mm. missile flip and then took three. So that's... Ooh, that's uh, concussion that's, missile flipped. That's right. Yeah. Uh, because after, after we got the correct set of dice, I uh, blanked out. Mm. Did not evade any. Yikes. Uh, and that is a lucky shot from Kylo Ren. Uh, so, I mean, there was some other shots on to Imam. And correctly played there by Charles as well. No mistake on the, the malice. Very clean. Two hits and a crit. That's going to be two evades going into Kylo Ren. Yeah, so. I mean, I, the only reason I say you could do Malice is because you could get Force back and be at two Force instead of one. Exactly. That, that's I, the, it's not a misplay. It's, it's just a hedging bets. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, so, uh, yeah, and what I was saying is like some people might be confused and say, oh, look, pilot crits. I get Force. But if you didn't actually use it, then, then you're out of luck. Fire Spray. Doing fire spray okay. things. Uh, Kasha coming in only with one hit, uh, forcing Kylo to spend a force. The last force. Yep. So starting the next round with only a single force feels a bit sad. Uh, I think what's feeling a little sadder is the fact that Nathaniel Blair is down a whole ship. 32 minutes left in the round. Does he have enough? Let's ask this question. Does he have enough to still win this game? It's chance engagement. So there's not going to be any, like, you know, objective-based, like, three, four, or five-point swings possible. You're just punching. Is Do you have enough? Yeah, the, the obvious targets here is yellow, but they have a great exit lane here. Uh, three bank is the – is it blue on these guys? Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, so you can clear that strain, uh, come in and jam Q9 from the sign. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Uh, boost jam, I guess. But yeah, kids can't jam rotate. Man, the one action they... Uh, you, oh, yeah. <laughs> the one, the <laughs> one action everybody checks to see if they could do. Uh, you can't, you're not allowed... Jam There's rotate? Different nah. things you could do, and that's not one of them. <laughs> uh, so target lock jam. Sounds great. Not allowed. It's like they knew. It's like they play tested it a few times. <laughs> it just it's a, made a real short list of like, man, what's the best actions here? Target lock rotate. Yeah, that's that would be one of the best ones with the heavy weapon turret. Not gonna allow it. Or the uh, the jam rotate. The jam rotate also not gonna be allowed. <laughs> hey, uh, shout out to DJ Meu says Charles is from Montreal, where I am from. I'm happy to see him go this far. I got a little Canadian brotherhood going on there. Very nice. Uh, me too. I love to see these uh, whispers do well. Got any other any other Canadians in the chat? I mean, it just so happens that they're also beating up on some fire sprays. So <laughs> <laughs> I love these things. They're the best. Right, this is the best. <laughs> uh, not gonna, not gonna, not not too uh, mad about that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure uh, 
Nathaniel's played a lot of games where he hasn't lost a single ship. I bet That's if you look true. at his, his, his record, um, a lot of those, what you're saying, uh, well, basically the three other scenarios that don't give up half points, you just have a fire spray flying around at you know, one hull. or two hull. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. What a frustrating yeah, Ka- uh, day that could yeah, be. Koshka left on two, I think, in like, two of the games we saw, Koshka was left on like one or two. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's going for focus jam and reaches and touches him. Nice. Oh, oh that was dangerous. Oh, that was dangerous. Uh, he could have just jammed himself. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess could have jammed Mallers. You jam, you jam Mallers. Yeah. I do also. I mean, the, the jamming yourself just gives you the third evade dice. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. And I guess you're honestly only getting shot really by at this point, Koshka. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Unless Q9 does some wacky maneuver. Although, I guess Q9 could stop and stop, drop, and roll and do the. Oh, uh, the, oh the, the hammer time slide the, over? The, yeah. The, <laughs> Dion, you're probably more familiar with MC Hammer than shuffle. I am. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what is that move called where he just does the, the hammer time? I don't know. Uh, would, you, <laughs> would you go, oh! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, you just, you just do like the, I don't even, I can't even describe what movements his legs do, but they, they just go all over the place and yeah, just go to the side. That's name, the only thing I think of now when I name, see Q9 stop and then barrel roll. Name of oh. MC Hammer dance. It's called the typewriter. Uh, Surprised that we didn't see the focus jam here. He has range one. He, he rotated. No, I guess he didn't. Again, didn't want to jam himself accidentally. I could have jammed Malaris in this case. Why do you always want to try? Why 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 always want to jam this Malaris? Okay. I don't know. I just <laughs> no clusters. I don't know. <laughs> no cluster for you. <laughs> All right, Q9. Clears the jam with an action. Really tempted to shoot at Malaris here. Does not use Malaris's second to charge. Oh, that's what he was debating. I see. And here we go. Malaris with the ability to hit... With Greedo able to make it hit crit. Three focuses rolled there. Ooh. That Greedo coming in nasty there. I'm uh, going to try to keep it on the shields. Uh, mm-hmm. No, he don't got no shields. He's baffling too much. Oh, he double baffled, didn't he? Sure did. Ooh, boy. So that Ooh, crit's boy. going into the skin. Let's see what we get. It is a Ooh. panicked pilot. Panicked pilot. Man, pilot. today, we've seen a ton of panicked pilots today. Everybody getting stressed out <laughs> no here. Oh, there's another. There's a, there's a reason to baffle now. Yes. But yeah, I, uh, I liked the idea there of spending just one force because you get it right back uh, for taking the crit. If Kylo spends the force and a focus, could get all three hits if he wants. Going to go ahead just Malice for hit crit. Uh, and Greedo for crit crit. Yeah, same thing. Oh, he's just going to spend the one force dodge it all. Mm-hmm. Kylo uh, staying conservative. Pursuits, by the way. The two non-Kylo whispers. Uh, yes, yes. Hmm. Here we go. Q9 trying to hurt Kylo, but not going to do it like that. Blank, two focuses and a hit. Spends a force to get a crit with Greedo and convert a force using a hit, but denied by Kylo Ren and the Natties. Shout out to Felsepto in the chat. Koshka, uh, here to do some damage. Uh, 
uh, yeah. And Koshka will deliver a right, single strike. Turn, turns on Scorch's fanatical. They're so fanatical, bro. All right, hit crit for Koshka. Oh, boy. oh the blank out. That's not how that's supposed to go. Oh, man. Uh, dead? No. Oh, yeah, it has the uh, had shield steal. The, the damage card was from a concussion. Mm. Oh, yes, yes. I was thinking it was only on two health. No. Those confusing concussions. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're almost bad as hull upgrades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they're like the opposite of hull upgrade. Hull destroyer. And we are going to yeah, electronic baffles. baffle. Man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, you get it. Have pointed yourself. It'll be fine. A couple more baffles. A couple more <laughs> baffles. You got, you got five more. You got four more baffles in yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> you can fit it's... so many baffles in this thing. <laughs> you can it... fit so many baffles. <laughs> uh, now that's what I need a meme of. <laughs> yeah. Or I guess it, it would have used it, it would have been you could fit so many contrabands in this thing. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, that was Java Java slapping the top of a racer crest. Yep, you could fit so many contrabands in this thing. Yeah. Oh, the good old days. That was <laughs> that was a that was a dumb thing that happened. Yeah, uh, the dials are really important, except for when Java is aboard. When a cyborg Jabba is flying your ship. <laughs> yeah. All right, here, real quick, to answer your question about the, the MC Hammer dance, here is uh, here's some, some, uh, some text here from BET. The says, sacred text. The sacred text. It says, the hammer dance... This is the hammer dance. Uh, if the bedazzled gypsy pants weren't enough, rapper MC Hammer somehow also established the hammer dance, also known as the typewriter, as a legitimate club dance move in Cali's Bay Area and soon everywhere else with his 1990 single, You Can't Touch This. <laughs> and yes, somebody called it a shuffle. It is technically a type of shuffle. But you got to do it with passion. If you do it with passion, then you're doing it with a typewriter. If you do it with intensity, that's the hammer dance. So now you have your goals. You have your marching orders, everybody. Uh, that sounds like a great alt art. This Q9's robot head wearing, wearing those golden sequins parachute pants. <laughs> We need to get an artist on that one. I guess, it's, yeah, still image just doesn't do the dance number uh, justice, though. So you're telling me that we need to make an animated GIF of Q9? I was, uh, I was trying to make, I was trying to make a GIF, but I couldn't get his, the ship to follow uh, MC Hammer while I was doing the typewriter. <laughs> it's got a lot of movement to it. I'll, I'll keep working on it, though. I don't know much about GIFs. All right, Nightfall coming in. Lines up that bracket on Q9. If you want to clear that stress, come on in. Kylo Ren turning to the outside. This looks like perfect concussion missile spot. Just slap down the focus. Commander Morris with the two straight relieves the stress. And probably just going to target lock. Morris evade. Oh, okay. I mean, you already arc dodged Kashka. So you're probably not going to be using your ability this round. Yep. Has two. 
Uh, well, excuse me, has one charge still left available. And Q9 does the one straight, loses the stress, and has that option to focus stress because he wasn't stressed at that time, and does. Here's Kylo. We'll see if he chooses to do that. Isn't a robot? Am I crazy? Yeah. Oh, so it should be it should be a calculate then. Yeah, it should be a calculate. Well, let me check. Does she have a printed focus? Anymore? Nope. Not very few people have a printed focus action. I can't think of a one that adds a printed focus action. We did just see Kylo throw a three-hit concussion missile at Koshka Frost. Man, Kylo putting the game on his back here. And that's going to be two hits and some card flips. Uh, yeah, who's got cards over there? Q9? Yes, indeed. Oh, no. Yep. All right. Could be panicked. Don't let it be panicked. Damage it's damage engine. engine. Damage engine. Mm. That's not mm, Most of his engines terrible. were already damaged. Do they have a hard one? No, they don't have a hard one, do they? The hard three is red, though, right? It is. Okay. Here's Kashka Frost firing now. One for one there, no damage. Mystic eighty three saying it's insane how good Kylo's dice are. I mean, having that having that focus from advanced optics plus the force, especially in the early game, means that you can almost always have three hits. Uh, and then you need a little bit of help, a little bit of help from the dice to make it consistent once you're kind of down to one or two force. But here's Q9, three dice. Also takes three agility dice, and Natty's mm -hmm. out! Okay, yeah, that's... That's uh, that's unfortunate. Woo, um, baby. Yikes. <clears throat> that the hurts a little bit. The dice giveth and taketh away. That's what I heard. Mm -mm -mm. Hit crit. It's coming in from the 709th. And we don't have any green tokens out there. Uh, no force. Structural damage. One agility now on that Razor Crest. And so yeah, he only needs to survive on two to be able to baffle. <laughs> <laughs> you took a damage. You mean, so I'm baffling. Yeah. One less baffle is what he's telling me. Okay. All right. All right, Scorch, with that ability, able to slap down three hits. The First Order is marching through this scum and villainy. Yeah, he's 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 going into Q9 as well. Uh, one agility. Only one agility. Just took that structural damage. It's, it's obstructed, I believe. Oh, it's obstructed. All right, well, take, take one. Does end up triggering the force being uh, reinstated. Oh, yeah, the Ooh, Nightfall Procket. Can Nightfall finish the job? Three health left. And that's four hits with that structural damage. Should be able to put Q9 down. That's it. That'll do. Kashka Frost and a Dream 18 to 5. Gonna be. 19 to 5 here in a second. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List, our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.